it quick episode. So today, being November 10th, is when most people get their fancy Steam controllers, and I am one of those fancy people. But this is going to be a quick one. Um, I just want to unbox it real quick, and I'm going to mess with it, see what I can't get it to do before the stream later tonight. So let's let's begin. I'm not going to lie, I've already opened this because I was too excited at work. But I have not actually done anything with it. I didn't uh, take it out or or add the batteries or anything. Um, but it comes in a nice box. It's a pretty solid box. It came in a bag too, like one of those plastic bags with the little um, shipping bubbles. Yeah, so it came in this. It's a nice, it's a nice box. Let's see if I can't. Okay, everything's backwards. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of room. There we go. <gasps> Fancy box. It has this cool little slip cover. Set that aside. And it flips up. It's got some tape, but like I said, I already did that. So, let's get this back down there. When you first open it up, it's got, um, it's one of, it feels like that, that corn made cardboard, like the eco friendly one. And then uh, just the controller right in the, right in the middle. And you got the little receiver here. I think it's like RF or something. I don't think it's Bluetooth. Yeah, and just a little tiny USB guy there. Can you get it to focus? It's got the Steam logo on it. Pretty nifty. And then just two AA's. They don't skimp out, they give you some Duracells. So that's nice. Put those aside. So let's set this down. See what else we get in here. A little manual, quick start guide rather. Product guide in various languages. Shows you how to put batteries in and how to plug in something to the USB, so I'm sure that might help someone. Also, looks like it comes with this little insert with um, an extender. So basically, you got the, the USB cable here uh, and then a little like range extender, so you can see it plugs in with the mini USB and then it just has a regular USB that you could plug into the cord it came with. Um, I don't know if that's necessary. Um, I was reading earlier that people, had, it kind of was a little fussy if you didn't have the extender on it, so that might be necessary. We'll see. Well, let's set all this stuff down because that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is the controller. So like I said, I, was, I, was, I opened it earlier, so I've had the chance to hold it for at least a little bit. I haven't really plugged in or done, I actually haven't plugged it in or played anything on it, so... Let's go ahead. I mean, I, you can. It feels solid. It definitely feels. I'm sure you've heard this before, but it feels well built. Nothing really feels terribly cheap on it. The control stick is firm. It has that good the pop, and it's got solid grip on it. So your finger, like, even if your little sweaty hands, I don't think it would. Uh, I don't think it would ever slip off easily. But here's the front. It's got the. Uh, like I was saying, the joystick here, uh, it's got like the forward and back buttons as well as the home button or the steam button, which is I'm assuming uh, is going to bring up like the steam interface when you're playing a game. Uh, it's also got the the face buttons, very, very common, uh, exactly the same as the Xbox. And then on the back, it's got triggers, which they feel pretty pretty rigid, but if you push them down, like they got that analog give and then at the very bottom they got that nice click. Let me see if I can get it on here. Very nice click. And then you got the shoulder buttons here on both sides. And they don't have any actuation, they just immediately click. And those are a completely different type of click too, let's see. They both feel very satisfying. And finally, the so that's pretty common, you know, that we've had shoulder buttons and triggers for years on controllers, but these guys down here, so this is actually the battery cover on the bottom, and um, each of these little fins on the side here, like right here and right here, are extra buttons. So let's get a good, good click on those ones too. Very satisfying. Um, so on the face again, as you can see, 
the I skipped over these two guys, which are the touchpads, the kind of like the, the main event on this controller. So basically, instead of having a second analog stick over here, they opted to just have this flat, basic touchpad. And you can click down on it, and I think, like, depending on where you click, it, it you, you can definitely tell it's only one button. But I think it, if if you click down in different locations, it, it can register that. Uh, it's the same thing over here. The only difference is that there's this plus, so it's like a D-pad emulation, but it's also all touchpad and um, and whatnot. Um, the power with with the with the touchpads over the sticks is that they're much more versatile. So yeah, they don't handle or they aren't as good at being a a analog or a joystick as a joystick is obviously but the controller itself is much more versatile because it does have the track pads instead of instead of two sticks so you can play games like like sim city or or i saw they, they showed off city city skylines which is really interesting and while i'm not sure if this is going to replace like the mouse and keyboard for competitive games for me um i think most other games i would i would enjoy playing with something like this i mean it's obviously yet to be seen i need to i need to sit down with it and play with it more but i i think that if i put the time into uh, getting comfortable with it i'm going to be pretty happy with it and that's kind of the sentiment that i'm seeing all over let's get a shot of the back again is that yeah it's it's different it's not what everyone's used to and therefore it's kind of not easy to get used to because we've been using the same style of controllers for decades and so basically what i've been reading is that hey you know it's going to feel like shit when you start but if you put the time in and get used to it then it's it's a pretty damn good controller so i'm kind of hoping that uh, we can get there with this one oh a small note uh, the the joy the joystick does click down just like other console controllers. So let's get some batteries in this thing real quick. I heard that there's some fun feedback with the touchpads that that uh, comes right when you plug it in. So we'll see. And uh, like a, the back just pops off super easy. Those buttons are actually part of the cover. So let me... Which way does it go? Plus goes down. Am I doing this right? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay, that's neat. So if you see this little part right here, it's actually a lock. So if I want to take the battery out, let me get a good angle here. You can see that when I, well, you didn't see it, but when you put the battery in, this little thing slides down, and to take it out, you just, boop, that's really neat. And then if I guess I could try to see, if you watch that, that piece of plastic, get a good angle going, and there we go. Huh. So that's cool. Just kind of like a little extra thing that keeps the battery locked in. And let's do the other one. And it was kind of hard to push in there because it's actually moving that mechanism, which is why I was a little hesitant at first. But there it is. Um, it adds a little heft. It's just two double A's, so it's not terribly noticeable. And then this guy just goes right back on. Is there an on button? Oh, yeah, so it lights up. You can see that blinking. It's probably trying to find its uh, its its match, and that's... So you can actually hear. So when you touch it now, I'm gonna get, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, and then I'll let you listen. Oh, no, but it's done searching. So let me just get it searching again. So it's searching again, and you can actually feel it and hear it when you move it, I'm sure you can hear it a little bit, but I'll get it over to over near the mic. So let's do this again. And it has it has a little microphone somewhere, and it's making little beeping noises. But yeah, listen to this. This is when just my finger is moves over the the pad. That's not like a creaking plastic or anything. That's like uh, the controller itself vibrating a little bit. That's the haptic feedback. That seems to be, well, that's interesting. So also, like, when I do this, I can actually, like, slide it. So if I do, 
kind of like a trackball. Interesting. And it feels pretty good, like it doesn't... Let me take my headphones off. You can have... Interesting. Huh. So that's pretty damn cool. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Like I said, I think I'm going to get get this all set up off camera. I don't want to have to just fumble through controls and whatnot. And then tonight when I start streaming, I'll probably uh, give you guys an update. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll post this on YouTube. So if anyone missed it, we can always check it out there. Oh, actually, I did want to do one more thing. So I, I have my 360 controller, which is arguably one of the better controllers that's been put out in the last you know decade or so. And I just wanted to compare the size. So right off the bat, you can see that it's um, side by side. Ooh, there we go. It's a little bit wider, like if, if you put it over it, it's a almost like minusculely uh, wider. It's much thinner. So I guess the, the batteries uh, being in the, the sides reduces the need for a battery pack right there. So it feels much thinner. Um, overall, it's actually like just holding it. I mean, I haven't really played anything, but just holding it, it fits really well in your hand. Like it, and I guess I have long fingers, so that's something to think about too. But it fits. All your all your fingers kind of just fall into where where they should be, where they feel like they should be. And I personally don't have an issue reaching these buttons. But I probably, I mean, I'll have to be you know in the heat of a game to to determine whether or not you know this is a bad placement for anything. And it might be because it is lower than than the, the Xbox controller. If you look. This camera at a terrible angle. These are much lower over here than, than these. These are on the upper right in the same spot that the trackpad is over here. So it's kind of a difference. So it'll probably take a little bit of getting used to. Um, the handles are more bulbousy and I actually like it. Like it, it fills your, your palm a little more and it kind of gives, it kind of gives these back buttons like, I don't want to say that it, it like protects them from being accidentally pressed, but it feels like you got a little bit more chunk there in, in your hands than these, which are more pointy. And your fingers are kind of like, ooh, there's nothing down there, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I will say it doesn't feel as dense as the 360 controller, so I like heavy controllers. But, but yeah, um, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to hook this up to my computer and, and get it running, and then I'll, I'll be back with an update later tonight. Thank you, and...